Thing for you guys, uh, uh, I'm one of the beta participants, um, one of the lucky beta participants, I should say. Um, and I also want to show the in-home streaming, uh, which is also on beta right now. You can see I have the camera up on my desktop. Um, and we're going to try XCOM Enemy Unknown. We're going to try streaming that. Um, but anyway, well, so the Steam machine is also hooked up here. I have a keyboard and mouse hooked up to the Steam machine, but I also have uh, the Steam controller. I want to be using the Steam controller. Um, so we'll turn this on, big shiny button. We'll go back to the monitor, switch to the DVI input, which is where I have the Steam machine hooked up through. Steam machine also has an HDMI input, um, but my monitor is HDMI and DVI, and since I have two monitors, I'm sorry, my video card has an HDMI and DVI output. Since I have two monitors, uh, my second one's hooked up to DVI, my primary is hooked up to HDMI. Um, I'm just running out of inputs, so. I have the Steam machine hooked up through DVI, which also means the audio coming output the audio output of the steam machine is hooked up through the three and a half millimeter um, stereo cable which means we'll have some uh, audio issues in the steam um, big picture mode profile itself so you can you can tell that there's no audio coming from the monitor right now which is I think just part of the steam big picture front end uh, running on Linux and things like that once I get in game I believe um, some games do get audio. Um, I can go into the desktop and push audio on there, um, and then I still end up getting no audio through the uh, Steam front end anyway. But let's check out the library. Um, we'll view all games. I usually have 62 games available. Right now it says installed 84 games. Um, so that tells me that certain games are now compatible with uh, the streaming. Uh, I imagine more and more of those will be added as time goes on. Um, one of those looks like uh, Borderlands 2. Let me pop this open, uh, and you can see it says stream on there now, uh, which tells me that it would be streaming from my PC to the Steam machine, so although it's not a Linux uh, native game, it'll work on a Steam machine which runs Linux. Um, whereas Beat Buddy, which is Linux compatible and installed, um, that just says play. So so we'll go back. Uh, I said I wanted to do XCOM. I like XCOM. I enjoyed uh, XCOM Un Enemy Unknown, so we'll just shoot over to that. Um, it's also a stream title. And if you remember my desktop, I just had the Steam front end running, um, just the not the big picture mode, but the regular uh, Steam running. So we'll click A for Stream. Uh, I see it's launching. And on the bottom left of the screen, um, it says Streaming Beta. It also says press F6 or Guide plus Y to toggle State Display. So I'm going to push F6 on the Steam keyboard here. Or I'm sorry, on the keyboard I have hooked up to the Steam machine. And uh, what ends up coming up on the bottom. Um, Hopefully I can zoom in. I'm not sure you guys will end up seeing this, but I'll give it a shot. On the bottom right, there's a little graph. Got red and blue. Um, there's a number here. It's counting the number of seconds I've been connected, so it's 34 seconds right now. Also on here on this graph, it's uh, milliseconds, and it's probably showing the delay anywhere from 10 to 100 milliseconds. Um, also over on the left-hand side of the monitor, um, there's some more info. I'm sorry, there's the uh, 10 to 100 milliseconds. I was zoomed out too far. But uh, there's some other information. Saying latency right now is 0 milliseconds. Uh, ping is 0.3 milliseconds, 2 milliseconds, which is fantastic. But I'm not running the game right now, so it's just displaying a picture. It's going to be pretty easy. Incoming bitrate is only 590 kilobits per second. Um, and outgoing bitrate is 60 kilobits per second. Um, packet loss 0%. Uh, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and try to keep an eye on the lower right hand side. Hopefully I can get it um, so you guys can see that. Um, we'll watch what happens to the red and blue bars as the uh, game launches and things like that. It really does affect the ping. So, let's see if we can get the mouse up here. There it is. Play Enemy Within. I haven't actually uh, launched Enemy Within yet. So, see the spikes in the lower right hand corner. Um, right now I'm actually, the incoming bitrate is closer to dip down to 8500 for this video here um, 12,000 let's see if I can skip through some of this get you guys into the game so I'm just going to launch a single player real quick see if we can get something running, we'll go on normal, we'll start yeah, uh, let's just do the tutorial just doing a demo here So, I uh, see another spike here Decent jump. Incoming bitrate is next to nothing. Two may or two thousand kilobits. Uh, Nine thousand kilobits. Eleven, twelve. It's jumping up. Uh, ping time is 0 0.46, 0 0.47 milliseconds. So next to nothing. 
see if I can get in game here. Uh, of course, we're going to have to go through a bunch of videos. I'll try to speed this up, or you can skip ahead. I'll try to make it uh, so you can skip ahead in the YouTube video. Uh, latency right now is 38 milliseconds, so it's getting up there. Uh, let's just launch this mission. Latency is 42 milliseconds. Can't skip through this because it's the first one. Oh, I'm accidentally uh, trying to skip. I was pushing all the buttons on the Steam controller. Sorry, I pulled up the interface of first Steam. An uh, interesting thing, too, while we're here, I'll just show you. I'm going to go back to my PC. Uh, watch what happens. So the HDMI input on my PC, lo and behold, it's also running XCOM. Um, the video card I have in my PC is just a 7850, 2GB. Um, so actually, the video card in the Steam machine is loads better, uh, GTX 780. Um, but anyway, so we'll switch back to the Steam machine. Back to DVI. Now we're on the Steam machine. You can see the interface came back up on the bottom. Uh, 42 milliseconds running at 1920 by 1200. I wish more monitors these days were that resolution. Um, so, ping time 0 0.044 milliseconds, pretty good. Um, of course, I don't know the button mapping yet since I'm just playing this now. There it is. Backwards from what I thought it is. The uh, left trigger is right click and the right trigger is left click. So just doing the tutorial. Um, it's actually not that hard to play. So uh, RTS games um, would be a lot better on with the Steam controller. Um, I think I played Halo Wars on the 360 with the Xbox 360 controller, and that was okay. You know, it, it did an alright job, but I like the pads uh, for this, for doing RTS games. I'll tell you what, though, uh, to be honest, for anything other than RTS games, it takes a long time to get used to um, this trackpad on the Steam controller, so. Um, interesting thing here, I'm pretty sure if I switch back to the PC, um, although I won't see the Steam controller show up, I'm back on the PC. Oh, look at that. I can use the Steam controller and it's streaming now backwards from my Steam machine to the PC. So I can actually use it. You can see the interface for the Steam machine and the streaming is no longer on there. So I can actually go and use the controller on my PC too. Which I could use the controller on my PC anyway, but it's kind of interesting that there, it's a two way communication, which I guess makes sense. But sometimes I'm just a little slow. So, I'm not going to keep going through this. Um, there you have it. If you guys have any more questions, uh, I haven't been posting videos lately. I apologize for that. I haven't been answering a lot of thread posts either, but uh, go ahead and send me some questions. Um, I'll try to give you some answers, and thank you for watching.